the waffle, and then she'll be waffling on her life then, you know what I mean? Oh, yes. So, Josh, uh, Nick is only away for an hour and a half. So then when you send over your list, she can quickly input it and then add the new ones as they're coming. So I think she'll be able to do that. Nikki, choo-choo, bang, bang, bang. Thank you so much, Nikki Lee. You're in the waffle tonight. And make sure to come for a bit. Canadian Angie, I can't thank you enough. That is absolutely insane. And I hope everyone follows you because if you win, love, you're going to have to give the stuff away to one of your viewers. So everybody who's already won the waffles, their stuff is winging the way to them. They've all got the um, tracking numbers and uh, everything's gone. And Keely should have had this today, I imagine. And um, obviously Manic Menopause is going to Ireland. And we've got Gav who only gave us a dress yesterday. So his has gone off today as well. And he's got his tracking number. Thank you, Donna. So anybody who enters the waffles, it is a genuine waffle, love. And you get all the items immediately. No waiting around because I've got that much to waffle off this week and next. Thank you, Mama McDuck. Choo choo. Bang, bang, bang. Thank you, beautiful. Keely got his. That's brilliant. So there we go. We've got verification from members of the audience that you do get your waffle prizes in their entirety. Um, I don't mind the cost. Thank you, Mary. Choo choo. Bang, bang, bang. Because by, by the time everybody's entered, even if it was £100 postage to anywhere in the world, I've got that times more, you know what I mean? So I don't mind the cost of the tracking so that you obviously it covers me and you, you know what I mean? To show that it's received, etc. Yes, Manic Menopause. Manic Menopause's postage was 20 something pounds, I think. Uh, uh, to one entry, thank you, Racing Girl. Choo -choo. Bang, bang, bang. Make sure to just all follow Racing Girl. She doesn't like to enter into the waffles, but she likes to send the trains. It's just a train to enter, so it is on my goal. And uh, Josh has taken names, so your name will be put down. I don't have to do that. So um, everything's done behind the scenes. And then Nick will be back in an hour and a half, and she'll. Josh will send a photograph of his list to her WhatsApp. She'll input that as we're going. And then every new train she'll be putting in at the same time. Because she's great, Nick. She'll definitely be able to do that. But everyone make sure to follow Josh because he is the one writing everyone's names tonight. But I need the other moderators to pin the people who send the trains and the gifts tonight. Thank you, Lizzie. Choo-choo. Bang, bang, bang. Thank you so much, Lizzie. You're in the waffle. And make sure to comment. And anyone who hasn't had the pin yet... Just comment and the mods will grab you the second time around. Thank you, Donna. Right, let's get on with the show, loves. Well, I had to finish my options, didn't I? I didn't want it to be cold. CLA gets emotional talking to Huey. Now, listen to this, everybody. Huey is going to be investing in Chelsea Lee Art, and Huey's got all the money, honey. I've met Huey. I've been in his company several times. You know, he's old money, so, you know, he's got the financial means to support Chelsea on a, on a business journey. So, by the, by the sounds of it, she's going to have an investment. This, like, I got my books in my hands and I started breaking down crying. Because I never thought this was going to happen. Really? And Huey's not a stupid person. You've heard him. He tells Chelsea how it is. He doesn't sugarcoat anything. So if he didn't believe in it, he wouldn't be um, investing in it in any way or, or at least wanting to do so. But I'm thinking a little bit further ahead than you are. Yeah. Just get, just get the fucking, all this stuff done for Christmas. Yeah. All, all you need to do for me... Yeah. All you need to do for me is give me the photographs. You said that looks strong out. I take ADHD medication, so but I'm perfectly fine. Don't worry. Yeah. And I checked. I checked out. Well, first of all, the fifty-fifty deal you came up with that idea. I mentioned it to Anthony because. What was that? Just you and me, fifty-fifty. So I think um, I think this is gonna go ahead. All oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Any expenses comes out fifty. You know, if it doesn't work, you don't make any money, and I don't make any money. So what's the point? So you've got to make it work. Mm. Thank you. But what you have is you have a glamorous thing. Don't waste the photographs that you think are gone. 
if, if they be gone, I can make a fantastic... Yeah, because I, I should send them all to you. I get emotional about... So there we go, investment from Huey. Who's this? Another Tara? So Huey is like, he's an older gentleman now, but he's lived a proper life, you know, like a rich life. He's mixed with all the top models of the days, you know, he's been in all of the circles, he knows, he knows lords and he knows royalty and everything, you know, he's a proper old school, like, and he's dead nice, he's not a soft touch. He, um, he doesn't take any shit from Chelsea, like, he'll throw her out the house and whenever she's doing his head in and stuff like I've been there he's not a punter or any of those things you know what I mean he's a friend of Chelsea's and um it's when Chelsea obviously first moved to London and she started going out and stuff and socialising and she started meeting these people and getting these acquaintances and they've got a long history of friendship together so so yes it's a, it's her actual friend but he's not soft or stupid and he's not and he's a wise person you know it's been a shit day. this bloody yeah, slider Really, really bad day. A bad day? Yeah, you probably sat and done nothing. From two o'clock this afternoon. Had a member of staff not fucking turn up. So, I'm absolutely... Thank you, Leah. Choo-choo. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. You are in tonight's waffle, Leah, for all of the prizes. Make sure to pin yourself as well. You fucking shattered. Oh, I don't even know who this is. Have you? Send me on text message. What is going on on TikTok with all these tramps? If you mean my little tatty business, is that what you mean? That's cheap shit. Did I make it? Yeah. Are you okay? What's the matter? Are you okay? Yes, love, I'm okay. I'll be better still when she's gone. <laughs> oh, God. Oi, don't say that about me. Don't say that about me. I just come to... Well, go away then. Huh. Well, what do you want? I came to chat to you. What? I came for what? a chat. I don't want to chat. I'm not in a chatty mood. <laughs> She's crazy. She's crazy. Angie again, thank you so very much. That was amazing. I got the big lion with the Leon thing as well. Oh, yes. Thank you very much, Angie. And make sure to keep pinning yourself. And everyone follow Angie Loves, because if she wins the waffle, she's going to be giving it away on her life, because she, obviously she doesn't interested in waffles. She just supports me no matter what. Yes, make sure to be following. What have you been up to? What have you been up to? She can't hear you. You have to come to the front of her. Come to the front of her so she can hear what you're saying. What have you been up to? What have you been up to? Nothing, babe. Nothing. <laughs> oh, you can call him, babe. Why don't you shut up and get out? Out. All right. Bye. <laughs> oh, my God. What have you been doing today? Anything nice? Yeah. What? Been over my friend's house. Oh, you've been over your friend's house? Where's that? Hey, you're all in Bury Hall. Oh, well, that's a long way for you to come, though, isn't it? <laughs> mm. 
Are you okay? I think they're hilarious. How about you the other day? Em says she invited a stranger back on holiday and then starts picking at John and he says she's on Universal Credit. I still managed to um, invite a random stranger back into the hot tub. Right with the minds. Yeah, but it, it weren't live. I did take a few pictures, but it wasn't live. But yeah. Ooh. Was yeah. it just a random guy? Random? Was it nice looking? Was it nice looking? Of course it was. They weren't too bad looking, to be fair. Let me on the drum. Oh my god. I'm trying to. I'm gonna. Been inviting the men now. Stunning. Well, fucking better looking than you, mate. Do you know what I mean? I don't know why you're fucking sat there laughing. Okay. Don't be beginning for somebody else's looks when you're looking like that. I didn't say anything. See what I mean? See what I mean? Like the back. Somebody wrote in the co I love Ems, but somebody wrote in the comments section of this video. Went to Wales for three days. Could never goes anywhere. You'd think she'd been to Florida for six months. She's a fruitcake. Kind of like manipulation, trying to make it somebody's done something too bad when the really. Oh, just stay at the end. <laughs> That's just what's so boring about you. Like you always do that. If you can what take happened? right what any happened? opportunity, any opportunity that you've got to like paint what somebody happened? in a bad way or this, you always take that. That's that's how you're such a shy friend. Jonathan, oh Jonathan, <laughs> Jonathan. Yes. How's your stay at the end? Absolutely fine, thanks. The holiday. Who is it? Mm -hmm. Yes. How do you still not got a place then? Is that any of your business? No, it's not. Like we're not friends. Yeah, okay. you know, it's a bit concerning. Like it's been months and months and months, and you still mm -hmm. not got a place. Whether you know you're considering me as a friend or not, I still kind of care you know, as much as you think that I don't. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Okay then. Are you still going to try and get somewhere though? It's not anybody's business. I really want an Easter egg watching this. You know, because the Easter eggs are there. I'm like, oh, an Easter egg. Well, look at like private renters as well, you know? Nobody knows what my life's like behind the scenes. Well, never. The scenes. I'm not asking you to fucking tell people that, but. Do you live in La La Land? Not M's, but him. Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes, you're probably pissing in bottles and closing the lid and getting back in bed and scratching your home. I'm just saying, maybe you should try a little bit harder. Behind the scenes. Well, I'm just saying. You don't know me, I'm you don't know it's everything fine. that goes on. Like, you don't, you don't know that I literally told people, you don't know that I literally told people sorry. last week like that, that I've already found, that I've already found. They're nice, aren't they, Greg? That I private let, and the landlord is struggling to evict the pre the current tenant that has the pipe in. And as soon as that happens, as soon as that happens, I can move in. It's not anybody's business. Okay. Some people are maybe just, you know, a little bit... If you're on your soul, you don't care. Nobody cares. Do you pay for that hotel? Yes, I do. Oh, how much? Do you pay your rent? Yeah, £450. Pounds. Evil Steve, thank, thank you so much, much for the dog. Thank you. I'm in the middle of a fucking bootle. <sighs> LOL. Comes out every month. You know that anyway? But it comes out your universal credit. They'll get universal credit. Really? Now mm. well, you fucking stay in the pot. I, I is, that no, is that not what you were trying to do by quizzing me about it?
I've got a new outfit on. Do you know what it is? It's by bloody Reebok of all things. And they brought a lovely range out in JD. And this is like the sportswear one. You know, it's like a thin material. Like a thinner one, like a like a gym material and the leggings as well. And it's so nice. Reebok. I never thought I'd see the day I bought Reebok ever. But it's lovely how jet black it is as well. You know what I mean? Great. They, they've really upped the game, I tell you. Um, I was a question. So you're questioning me about my house and such. 54 entries into tonight's waffle so far. You've got the big gift, gift basket that I put together with loads of different items that I've advertised individually. Um, so they didn't come in it. I just put that basket together. You've got the complete nail kit with the lamp and you can do all your own shellac and everything. Uh, the wax part with everything included, the bloody wax sachets, the nose things where you can wax your own nose, the, everything's included, and the aromatherapy diffuser set, love, oh, yes. Um, so that's the, in the waffle tonight, love. So I'm trying to, like, try to start the pot, and then, so I quizzed you about whether you have access to PIP, USB. Oh, yeah, and don't forget your daily heart means you can only do it once a day. Thank you, racing girl. And then I'm standing the pot, and I'm being nasty. I'm I'm is reflecting your energy. You want to, you want to quiz me? You want to quiz me about where I stay? I'll, you want to quiz me about where I stay and how I pay for it? I'll do the same. I'll reflect your energy, you bitch. Yeah, but it's sort of real though, isn't it? Like, you know, you can go into homelessness and... Now you're fucking chatting about the shit, saying that I'm getting universal credit when I don't. Guys, you can't receive universal credit, but I didn't get it. No, you were getting universal credit up until Thank people you, did report it. you and then it got stopped. No, it wasn't that. I was getting uh, employment support allowance and it was when I was, uh, it was the Biden stars, I think. It was then. And I rang up and rang up, but I was waiting for a long time and then um, I, got a, I got a letter to say that they wanted a phone call and then um, I waited the whole line, I fucking cancel my benefits. I didn't do that phone call. Nothing else has happened. Proud Scott, choo choo, bang, bang, bang. Make sure to comment so we can pin you for 60 seconds. And everyone, make sure to follow Proud Scott. And you are in tonight's waffle. The waffle is announced at 10 o'clock every night. And you have the winner by about three minutes past, and then your items get sent immediately the next day, but not tomorrow because it's Sunday, so it'll be Monday for Tuesday now. Since then, I cancelled my benefits before they could even. Because I knew, I knew for a fact that something was going to happen. When you get a feeling, you fucking stomach, you go with it. The only, the only reason you cancelled your benefits is because Rachel and Jack had just been investigated. No, it wasn't. It was because uh, Lampy told everyone that I was getting benefits. And, and at the same time, at the exact yeah. same time, when you done that, Rachel and Jack had just been investigated. I don't know who Rachel is. Are you the Rachel Skinner? Gargantula? Yeah. No, that was way after me. That was way, way, way after me. 100%. Well, I, I swear on my dog's life, I cancelled my benefits. And she's always given the same version. She's never changed that version. Fair enough. Nothing else has happened since then. You're getting stung in the night. What are you doing? Oh, my flat, because... He can't fucking smoke properly whilst he's in these places, even though he is doing it in that place. And if they found out, I reckon Thank they'd you, fucking babe. kick him out as well. But he's being a lot more careful. He used me for my property. Thank you, Bainsey. Thank you, Tony. So he could Thank sit you, and see Bainsey. he's laughing. So he could smoke. I spent a fortune on you. An absolute fucking fortune. L O L J O D. Even your birthday, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have had fucking birthday stuff, and I'm not trying to gain from that, but I'm just saying. I tried to make it as good, happy, because I know you're on your own. 
Carrie, choo choo, bang bang bang. Thank you so much, Carrie, for the train. Make sure to comment so we can pin you, and everyone, make sure to follow Carrie and you're in tonight's waffle. Carrie, thank you. you. Sit there and tell me that you know I'm, I'm, I was a fucking shit friend because I wasn't. I was more than a thank fucking you, good friend to give. I'll let you fucking sleep on the fucking Lulu, bed. Hello, my love. I paid okay. for your drinks. Paid for your fucking outfit. I try to do the utmost for your birthday, you know what I mean? To make it a good time for you. Lulu, oh my god, Lulu, thank you so much. Choo choo, bang, oh, we got the gobble gobble going on too. Choo choo, bang, 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 thank you, Lulu. Choo choo. Bang, bang, bang. Thank you so much, Lulu. Make sure to pin yourself and everyone make sure to follow my moderator, Lulu. And you've got three entries, my love. Thank you so much, Lulu. And thank you again, Canadian Angie. I'm really, really grateful for my lovely gift from you earlier. Fucking hell. Went to that drag thing, which was... It's funny because in my mind today I was thinking about the lion that you sent me the other, last week, I think it was. And then... You sent the bigger lion today. It's crazy. Fucking awesome. We've had the same train of thoughts right. about lions. I need some good. N Nella, you know. Racing girl. Choo choo. Bang, bang, bang. Everyone make sure to follow my moderator, Racing Girl, and make sure to pin yourself, my love. Uh, thank you, Beverage. Thank you so much, Racing Girl. Got a friend for life in eh? CLA says Mama Kaz has turned into Mrs. Blobby, Mr. Blobby on steroids. When you're going, oh, for a few scribbles. Well, Thank it's not you, a few Lulu. Scribbles, and uh, it's cost me a lot of money to produce, darling. So get your fucking facts right, sweetheart, before you start running up them big fat gums, darling. Mm -hmm. uh, absolutely. You fell off. Fell off. You're an absolute nobody. And don't even start chatting about my evil queen, darling, because you could never compare in your fucking dreams, darling. So that's jealousy. Imagine you criticise people that are like celebrities. Abby, choo choo, bang, bang, bang. Thank you so much, Abby. Make sure to comment so we can pin you and your internet's waffle. Thank you, my love. That make more money in one day than you could make in a month. Do you understand? Who the f- Shivana, choo choo, bang, bang, bang. Thank you so much, Shivana. Make sure to comment so we can pin you. And everyone, make sure to follow everyone who gets pinned. And you're in my waffle tonight, love. Fuck's gonna listen to you, sweetheart. You know, I'd go on a diet if I was you, sweetheart. You've turned. I don't even know why anybody bothers to even react, you know what I mean? Like, I'd play the videos or whatever, but, like, given this nobody reaction, it's just, like, wasting anybody's time, honestly. Which, Chelsea's right, obviously, in everything she's saying, but I don't even waste my time with this person. They're absolutely nobody and nothing. <gasps> Thank you so much, Stace. Choo choo! Bang, bang, bang. You're in tonight's waffle, and make sure to comment so we can pin you, Stace. Thank you very much. Mrs. Blobby, Mr. Blobby on steroids, darling. I love you. I love you too, Tams, darling. And oh, I sat there with all that fake this, fake that. I copied my glasses, copied my Gucci glasses. You know what I mean, sitting there about scribbles. You, I'll do you. You, you are a scribble. One big scribble, sweetheart. I'll put you in the scribble. Box. Um. You're just the best, yeah. You know, it's people, bloody verifier. You know, it's like me. I want to do an LGBT colouring book. You know, not everyone thinks it's a great idea, but I don't give a fuck, sweetheart. It's about what I want to do. It's not about. Your Twitter is crazy. I know. If anyone's not looked at it lately, go and take a look, and you see me going the whole nine yards, and then you can subscribe to my. Yeah, what well, Nicola put that emoji. Uh, there's a free subscription for the first month if you've never subscribed before. Uh, but if you have, you'll have to obviously pay, and then you'll see a lot more than what's on the um, on the Twitter. About what anyone else wants to do, it's like what you want to do, Chelsea. You know. Stand so when you go.
going back to clean obviously it's been fine this girl's obsessed five years now of weirdness and madness and animosity thank you Lily. there's lots of other things going on in the world people are sort of saying why are we still talking about yeah. this what's your take on it all do you know what it's ridiculous now it really is um but do you know what if you want to fan the fire the flames are going to get higher you know i wasn't going to carry on talking about this i had no intentions of talking about it but you know she clearly can't let it go you know we've done a book we've done a documentary we're going into the jungle um, dancing on ice next mm, well m maybe you know i think someone's she obsessed laurie Choo -choo. <laughs> bang 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 thank you laurie you're in my waffle tonight and make sure to comment so we can pin you thank you beautiful i have this is. CLA finds out how much she weighs. And I'm not that fat. I'm sick of people saying, ah! Thank you, Stace. I am so excited. I know I have. You don't need to remind me, so. Oh. Lord Rufus, he'll tell me that I look like a truck. He look at the back end of a bus or something. He's ruthless. I'm 98 fucking, I'm 98 kg. How much is that? Alexa, how much is 98 kg in stone? 98 kilograms is about 15 stone, six pounds. It does come up on Twitter, just type in Chelsea Harwood or Evil Queen Chelsea at Chelsea. You're probably spelling Chelsea with an A, it's with a Y. Can somebody write my Twitter and pin it? Um, but like Jack said, so my Jack heard this clip when we played it, and he said, but probably, the, like, her boobs probably weigh, like, over a stone, so she's not really that heavy, it's just she's got the big baps and that, hasn't she? So, she's not fat. I've met Chelsea several times. Thank you, Mary. And um, her body's fine. It's just, um, yeah, I think that probably, they probably weigh, like, two stone or something. No! 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 I'm 15 stone! I used to be 10! Didn't we all? Oh my god. I was 15 stone when I had my first son! With the baby. There you go, there's the Twitter if you want to search for it. Can't be 15 stuff. More like 30. Maybe the scales are wrong. Curious scales are dog too much. Alright, our field's on a scooter. People live like this. Uh, what can I, uh... Repeated, you have repeated that same pattern with every single person you've brought in that house. Every single Thank fucking you, person. Sorry, repeat your And you wonder, and you wonder why you repeatedly end up in the situation you're in right oh, now, you where you get naped to. And you wonder why you end up with naped to. Repeated what then? That same pattern? So, I had you muted. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I understand that as like a big live streamer alongside Chelsea, you'd probably understand and that we, we attract people sometimes who uh, want to use us for clout and then it does go wrong because their intentions are not pure. So then you end up like not liking the person. Like Robber, for instance, like he's now going live and everybody's sitting in his boxes slagging M's off. Like it's just like they're doing the things to M's it's just people don't view it like that because they've got a disliking for M's but if you look at all of them who've been they've all been social climbers they've all wanted the views that M's has got and the only reason it goes wrong is because they're not genuine people so they can't really hold the act up because they're thick aren't they off of them thank you ginger snap so M's gets onto it and then pays them a taste of their own medicine and fires back you know what I mean my hip, so this hip. See, a layer Hughes, and he gives some home truths and tacks. He's like this, the bone, and that one's normal. 
So my, it's, which has caused problems with my arm and this side of my... And, and being overweight won't help at all? Being overweight won't help, I know. Such a fat... I used to be so skinny, Huey. Well, no, I've only lost money with my business. With these other people that... So you should have got 400 grand in the bank? I made half a million, have a f well, You haven't spent it all? More or less, yeah. You can't spend half a million. Of course I can, darling. If you look at my bank statements, it all adds up, darling. The money's going out. I've been spending like 20, 30k a month. Didn't realise. I was spending 80 pounds a day on... How much is 80 times how many days in a year? It's not as if you bought a flat or anything. Half a million quid, you could... You could half a million pounds. Oh, darling, I'm looking to be a millionaire this year anyway. Well, next year. But and I've had to pay all my taxes and stuff, innit? Everything. I've had to pay all my bills. And even when... Because when I was making money and then... Obviously, when I told the benefits, then they... I had to pay, like, about 15 grand for overpayment of housing. But Jessica, choo-choo! Bang, bang, bang. You are in my waffle tonight. And uh, make sure to comment so we can pin you, Jessica. Thank you so much. Benefit and stuff. So I've had to pay, like, all my... Because I just wanted... I just pay everything off. So You're doing the right thing. But I'm not in debt now, am I? Only with the tax man. But I'm not in debt with the tax man. I'm so you'd have to work it out like this. Let's say Chelsea over this in, in the space of four years on, on TikTok. Thank you, Jessica. In the space of four years on TikTok, if she's making, let's say, £80,000 a year, what's 80000 times by four years? So it's nearly £400,000, isn't it? Is that right? I'm no good at math, so... About 300 not grand, nearly 400000 So she's on the right track to say because look at how much she used to make on the leaderboard 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 so all that money has obviously been came, come in but n not in the lump sum so it's been spent out thank you mary Choo -choo. bang 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 mary you are in my waffle tonight and make sure to comment to get pinned so yeah when i'm paying it off so i'm fine everything's being declared what they did want to come for is vat for me, 60 grand for, for my VAT, I, I've refused to pay because I don't sell a product. So I'm not on. So if I was selling myself or selling a product, that's different. But I'm just a TikToker, so I shouldn't need to pay VAT. The thing is, um, the, this what we do is classed as selling our time. Um, and that's what, it's, that's what it's classed as. Because when I got done for benefit fraud, do you remember? It was because I was uh, doing webcam and um they said i said but they're gifts and they said um no um it's classed as selling your time because um, that's in effect what you're selling and then they told me that no no if you start going well i didn't know they say ignorance is not a form of defense so that's not going to be a defense in court saying you didn't know because you should have found out and in once you knew something was up you should have explored it and found out what what was what so you know chelsea can't claim any more ignorance now because she's openly said for months and months and a tax bill list this that and the other so there's no ignorance there so she could have educated herself which she has done she's got her, her accountants and everything like that now but at the time you know obviously when she was like oh i don't care I, i've got mental health it, it's not because you're admitting to knowing there's a problem then you should have found the solution before it went to court that's what they say I mean, I was with Modine the other night, innit? And I had 12,000 on the live. You were out of it, weren't you? Huh? You were out of it. Yeah, I was out of it because this is what I... Totally out of it. Yeah, because I, was in, I went to Selfridges. I was supposed to eat. I've ended up eating fans and getting f***ing apart in Selfridges because I didn't even know. I don't even remember. And uh... I make just over 2K a month working 60 hours a month as a full-time nurse. Do you know what the problem is? It's that, like, a lot of... You da you've got to... Like, there's money to be made for everybody. Like, like even if you are a nurse or you're this, that, and you're that. Like, the internet is a place where you could start a business, you know? But, like, there's only certain people who are lucky enough to be able to go live and to receive gifts off the audience because they, 
build an audience. So it's like a lot of people believe that they could do what I do. Well, you only sit there and, and react to clips, but it's not about the person. It's about me, you know. It's about the relationship that I've built and the charisma that I've got. Like, and not everybody has that in them. So, you know, it doesn't work out for everybody. So it's frustrating. But there is loads of avenues, like... Like, it just depends on what your boundaries are. So, if you're a nurse, then you could go on to um, a site called AW and be a webcam girl and charge £3 a minute for people to watch you and that. And that's in a private room. That's what I used to do and that. So, I always found a job on online doing something somewhere because that's where the money is, unfortunately. So... It is rubbish that there's people with, like, all these skills to treat the sick and all that, but, you know, it's the way the cookie crumbles, isn't it? But you've got to have some level of confidence or self-confidence in yourself and be want to put yourself out there. And some people don't and can't because they've got, like, a a family like that, it, like, is judgmental, for instance, or, you know, family ties and that. So, you know, it's not as easy as it looks, you know, to obviously come and do this. You'd have to... You'd have to have everything that I've got in my brain and, and the vocabulary and how you speak and everything. So, you know, and like Chelsea earns a lot of money because of like who she is. She doesn't give a shit. So like she people will love watching her, you know, the amount of millionaires that have passed through Chelsea's lab. And just because she's funny, I thought, haha, that's hilarious. You know what I mean? And, and sent her, what have you. So it, it's, it's not for everyone, unfortunately. And if it was, there would be nobody watching me, Chelsea and like other people with platforms. Um, so I must I Yeah, I think that's what I'm trying to get at. Two people could do the same job, but one's going to be better, you know what I mean? In some way. Switch it off. I switched it off. You were loading. Oh, you switched it off. You were gone. Yeah, I was gone, innit? You were trying to calm me down. Was that being a nightmare? Um, not too much a nightmare, more impossible. Oh, so you, you think Maudine did the right thing? To... He was doing the right thing. <laughs> yeah, but it's in Kensington, so on the 4th of December. Royal Bar and Kensington and Chelsea? Yes. See, these are the things you, you don't want to go down. I mean, the colouring books are a great idea, and they're probably a good, good timing too mm -hmm. now before. Mm -hmm. Even though it's probably the worst time to launch a business just before Christmas because of the postage on that, because parcels get lost. And well, I'm going to get back to being glamorous. I just need to lose a few stones. You've got enough. You've got, you've got enough photographs of six books. Yeah. So you, could, you, know, you could still make me a book, though, couldn't I you? Make yeah, you with the pictures on that. But not. It'd be nothing to do with what you're doing. Yeah, no, totally different. Why have I got a message saying get info on the Irish general election? That's outrageous. I don't do politics on my live and now I've got a thing saying to get info on the Irish general election. Thank you so much, Bess. That, that should be not allowed, shouldn't it, really? You know what I mean? Shouldn't that be not allowed? I don't do any politics or all that, are you? It should be as it always was, me and you. Yeah. I don't need their permission. They don't need my position. All I need is you. I get emotional, Huey. The, the glamour between. Yeah, I get emotional about this. Like, I got my books in my hand and I started breaking down crying. Well, first of all, the 50-50 deal you came up Christmas Day plans, so I'm cooking for everybody. My dad's coming, Beryl, um, my brother John, obviously man and Jack's first Christmas together, so yeah, it's going to be a good Christmas. Well, that's idea. I mentioned it to Anthony because... What was that? Just you and me, 50-50. And because I'm not a gatekeeper, um, so I... Obviously, I, it's nice to get people selection boxes and that, isn't it? But... I didn't want like to get like a rubbish one, so listen to this. I went into next today, cause like I've domesticated Jack. Like obviously he's never been in a relationship longer than three months, so he's never lived with anyone before in that way and all that. So 
I bought myself a dressing gown at the time. I said, why don't you get a dressing gown too? He's like, no, I don't want a dressing gown. And then he started wearing my dressing gown. So I said, do you want a dressing gown? So I got him a dressing gown. And then he's always wearing my, my sliders outside, you know, to go and have a ciggy or whatever. So he's always using my sliders. So I got him a pair of slippers to match now like these. They're nice from Next, obviously nice. So he's got his slippers, his, his dressing gown now. But anyway, I digress. In Next, they've got... Um, the old fashioned and it's in a cardboard box big massive thing a Cadbury's selection box it's 20 something pound 26 pounds and you get every chocolate bar from the selection in there every single one and it's in the style of the old fashioned selection boxes so I got him that for Christmas Eve obviously because I like to do a Christmas Eve I want to do a Christmas Eve thing like we've all got matching jammies even the dog you know and I've got like I want to put together like a little Christmas Eve thing you know so Yes, very exciting. All oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Any expense? Where are they? They're in next. Just come back. And they're like twenty six pound, but you get every single chocolate bar. It's better than buying the little ones and buying ten of them and just buy one. You know what I mean with everything in. Just you, yeah. If it doesn't... Yeah, I, I I start Christmas on Christmas Eve. You know what I mean. You you get you get to open whatever's in. Your, this is what I'm I'm doing anyway. So anything in the stock, and you get to open Christmas Eve, and then you get to open your main cre- presents on Christmas Day. You know what I mean. Thank you, Kirsty. Thank you so much, Rory. Work. You don't make any money, and I don't make any money. So what's the point? So you got to make it work. Hmm. Yeah, because I, I should send them all to you because I've deleted so Thank many. Thank you, Kirsty. Uh, me and Jack, because Jack moved up north to be with me. Um, he's from, um, do you know, by Melton Mowbray, where the pork pies are and all that, Leicester ways, up those ways. So um, they live very far away. So my parents are literally around the corner. So to answer that person's question. And don't you worry, love, I've met Jack's mother and everything. She's given me a hug and... So don't you be worrying, uh, insinuating that for some reason Jack's family wouldn't be, like, okay with me in some way because they're not coming for dinner, love. They live miles away, the father and the mother are still together all these years later, still to this day, and the father still works every day, love, as well. So, yeah. Uh, never you mind, love. Jack's parents are very fine with me. Because well. that was the insinuation behind the question, as I can see through your, like, tracing paper, love. Broke up, don't forget if you do want to enter into my waffle as well um i can show you one last time because it's over in 50 minutes so i've put a gift basket together for you with loads of different items that i've i've been receiving over the past few weeks and also some of the gift basket from today so you've got this brand new blanket it's a nice big one as well and it feels lovely it's like a, a mink color is it like a caramelly like type of color and this big box of stuff and there's even more stuff but in the box of goodies i've put the two power banks brown everything's brand new um so like a his and his power bank and you can break this up and give some of the stuff for christmas these playmate chocolates vitaflora tablets to give your chuff a nice smell pina colada bath set with a body lotion shower gel and a bath bomb um, the groovy greens. So if you don't like, to, if you don't like vegetables, everything that you'd get in vegetables is in like a gummy form. So we put them in there. Um, the the good fast charger, and it's got both connections. So it's got the Samsung connection. And it's also got the iPhone connection, and it's a uh, corded, and it's a fast charge as well. So there's one of them. There's ten sheet masks here. Them collagen ones that melt into your skin. Um, this, which you can do winged eyeliner with, it's like a stamp. You stamp the corner of your eye and then you just like drag the line over so it's always perfect winged eyeliner. These sleep gummies that I've been advertising since I started TikTok shop. Um, a lady shave with bikini shaver attachment. These American little powder drinks. Some hair vitamin capsules, like they've got oil in them, you like to snap the top off. This is just one box, there's more. Um, some purple shampoo and a thing in like a little sachet. There's like a shampoo on a rope. Two of the turmeric soaps. And these turmeric soaps reduce acne, fade scars and cleanse skin. It's a new thing, I got loads of them, so I put two of them in there. There's um, these, these are uh, wax melts and look, they're all like hippy dippy and I can't even open the thing, but they smell gorgeous anyway. They smell like the forest. Um, 
I like to give his eyelashes, so I've give his four packs of eyelashes, all different varieties. This is called a shower bomb. Not like you get a bath bomb, you get shower ones now. And when the water falls on it from the shower, you put it on the floor. It releases steam, so like aromatherapy steam, which is good for you. Some hair growing oil. This is like forty pounds, I think, just to buy on its own. Um, and grow your eyelashes back with this new serum, new age. So that's just in that. And it's just a train like Fran's just give. Choo choo! Bang, bang, bang. Fran, you're in the waffle. And the waffle's announced at 10 o'clock, you know, by three minutes past two's one. And then it gets sent out next day, which will be Monday now, it'll be on Sunday tomorrow. And you get pinned for 60 seconds. So that's just a little basket of random stuff I put together from me for years with some of the original stuff out the baskets. So let me just put this back. Thank you, Melanie. Choo choo! Bang, bang, bang. You're in the waffle, my love. So that's the last time I'm going to be showing the waffle prizes. And I'm going to show the other stuff now because it doesn't end there, everybody. It doesn't end there. I've also got. Thank you, Lisa. Choo choo! Bang, bang, bang. Thank you so much. Oh no, now we've gone blurry. I just need to show a box and it should unblare. There we go. The aromatherapy diffuser that I advertised yesterday. Um, uh, the trains are eight pounds, I think. So you get all this. This is like uh, nearly a hundred pound worth of stuff, love. Um, so the aromatherapy diffuser with loads of different scents and all that inside, and it wafts all the smoke into the air. It's really good. I've give you the wax heater. This is a white one, and it's a different version to the one I advertised the other day. It's still got all the same stuff, and like the after wax, the before wax. It's got the wax beads. It's got the sticks, the nose things. It's got absolutely everything in there that you'd need to do a wax anyway. And this as well, this nail kit, this is completely sealed. I've got an open one that I could show you, but basically it's got like a plastic box inside in the shape of a cat. And inside it's got like 20 shellacs. It's got the base coat, the last coat. It's got the machine that you put your fingers in so you can paint your own nails. And it's got all like the gems. It's got little gems and a, a stick and all that. So it's got all the stuff to do your own at home nails in there, the nail kit. And um, yeah, so all of that just for the price of one train. If you send multiple trains or a different type of gift, which is more money, you'll get multiple entries. And that's over in exactly 45 minutes. So get your trains in if you want to enter. And um, yeah, you could win the whole lot, loves. Thank you so much, Lisa. Right. Thank you so much, Claire and Chi-Chi. Choo-choo! Bang, bang, bang. You're both in my waffle. And make sure to comment so you can get pinned as well. Just let me go down the list and follow everybody in case I'm not already. So anyone I'm not following, I am now going to be following. And it sends recorded delivery, so you get the given the track and number sent to you. So you can know that it's going to arrive. So it covers both of us. I don't mind covering the postage cost to Ireland or anywhere because uh, I've made it in gifts anyway. Clank you, Claire. Choo choo. Bang, bang, bang. You have uh, an entry again, Claire. Thank you so much, Tinkerbella. Choo choo. Bang, bang, bang. Thank you, my love. Evil Lisa. Choo choo. Bang, bang, bang. There might be a delay to get pinned, but you're so all in the waffle. Thank you so much, my love. Let me know when you see Nick Jacobs back in the chat as well. What about Australia? A hundred dollar postage? I don't think it'd be a hundred dollar postage, would it? I don't think so. Um, let's see. Thank you, Charlie Jackson, 94, 84. Choo choo, bang, bang, bang. You are in the waffle and make sure to comment for your pin. Um... Angie and Mama Cars Clash. I'm not entertaining you making a TV. Okay. Merlo Mouth. It's not fucking entertaining to me. Merlo Mouth. Gem, thank you so much. Choo choo, bang, bang, bang. You are in today's waffle and make sure to come in to get your pin, my love. Do you know what I mean? The teeth yeah. are about you to fucking drop out. You don't hear anyone yourself. You know what I mean? You're a teeth are about to drop out and you're here telling me about this and that. The too. same person that's defending me all this time because you're back friends with the other people because you fell out of Miss Red. Meg, choo choo, bang, bang, bang. You're in the waffle, Meg, and make sure to come and feed you. You hate me again. again. You know, and let's not talk about how you treat your poor and Don't forget to send your daily heart music everyone, which is the penny gift. You only get to send one a day and it builds your badge up and then you get an ounce in the little maroon box. You don't even have to be like a big gifter as long as you maintain. 
Thank you, Claire Bear. You have another entry. Choo choo. Bang, bang, bang. Thank you so much, Claire. And just bother the moderators until they pin you. Satisfying lips. Thank you so much, my love. You can also be entered for the watermelon. Hello, Angie, love. We love you. Oh, mom, shall we? Should we go to that as well? So let's talk about your TV room. Do you know what I mean? Justice for the mother. Yeah, should we talk about justice for your Papa Dean, yeah? There was oh, a oh. TV situation. Oh, oh, yeah. Clutching on straws, are we, Angie? Clutching no, on no, straws. you just said there was Clutching. TV. There's no TV. Clutching there, on straws. Yeah, there Thank was you, no everyone. TV. Clutching on straws. I've never seen the Mama Kaz be happy on a live in a very, very long time. It's always to jump on somebody's, like, drama that they've got going on to pass their opinion and to rant and rave, like... It's that's all it ever is. It's just to to shout and be, it's like it, it's like it use it as an outlet to vent and attack everybody. Thank you so much, Claire. Choo -choo. Bang, bang, bang. Another entry for our lovely Claire. Thank you so much, Claire. And we are friends too. Thank you, Claire. Do you know what, Angie? I actually did like you, but I just think you're the biggest flip flop. To be honest with you, you're the biggest flip flop. What you do is, if you dislike some one person, you team up with every single person that's against that one person to. Do you know the funniest thing about this Mama Kaz is that they sit there with all these morals or what they believe as morals and every other cunt on this app misread every single one is out for themselves, you know, so Miss Mama Kaz is doing themselves a disservice by even bothering about all this stuff. They should be focusing on themselves and, you know, the ruthless get to the top, basically, so... You know, if you want a little, a little pro tip, like, stop jumping on board everybody else's drama, you know, and start making your own storyline. Controlling narrative. Well, the people that thought you were just as bad. Uh, right. listen, You're no game, different like, to M. You're no different to M. Yes, You're no really different to M. You can't argue with me, Angie. You've met your match with me, babe. Uh, I'm not Alex. I'm not anyone else. Not I'm not anyone I else. Have not. When you have to tell yourself that you're someone's match, it means you're not their match. Thank you, Mrs. Cyber. Choo choo. Bang, bang, bang. You're in the waffle, babe. And make sure to get pinned. Do you know somebody who has to self-indulge and say, I won that argument. Ah, look, I, I, you're, I'm your match. You, you won't win me. They're trying to convince themselves because they know it's a load of crock of shit. Because as drunk as the Lucy Vanji is, she would outsmart Mama Kaz any day of the week, morning, noon or night. Right, so let's remember how I met you because you shagged your dog, yeah? And I never forgot that. So let's not go there, all right? Well, but you were talking to it's me. Don't matter, babe, I don't shag dogs. So it don't but Angie never done that. She just said it for shock factor. Like she says a lot of things, and the fact that you sit there and believe even that loaded crock of shit. Thank you, Shell. Choo choo. Bang bang bang. Thank you, Tiff. Shell, you are in the waffle, and make sure to get pinned. The list of Angie saying her shit as usual. She has loads of weird stuff that's not true. Well, what else you're saying? Yeah, you glorify yeah, how you shag your dog. So let's really yeah, talk about you it. You thought you thought you were. Exactly, Mama Kaz was talking to Delusive Angie well after because that was a, many years ago that she said this comment and Mama Kaz has been in Angie's box loads of times, sought support from Delusive Angie when shit's gone down against them and now all of a sudden it's, oh, you did this to the dog, you know what I mean? It's like, you can't, like, join someone's box and everything and then when it doesn't suit you, then start saying, oh, but you done this and you done this, but you were friends with the person after all that, so. Friends with me after. You know what I mean? Me. You know what I mean? And you was you friends with me after all them things that you've just said, so we're both as bad as each other then, aren't we? Thank Where you so much. Again, Mrs. Cyber. Choo -choo. Bang, bang, bang. Mrs. Cyber, thank you so much, my love. You're in the waffle again. Thank, thank you so much, Johnny. Mr. Please, that's not going to I don't be on the same level as you, but I, I, yeah. I don't know who the Thank fuck you, is sir. sending you seventy parcels to your fucking home. Jealous. I don't. I don't know. I don't know who's lost the plot enough to do that. I really imagine being jealous over a couple of vaselines and headscarves and bloody leggings. You really don't. Yeah, I've also got ten now. Uh, I don't know who's lost the plot to do I've that. I've also got hundred quid today. Awful. I've got hundred quid in the last hour, by the way. Just said. So Congratulations. Know. Thank you. Congratulations. Yeah. And you call that people that care about you? Look at the state of you. Uh, they send me Amazon gifting. Uh, Congratulations. Amazon so thank you, everybody. Well done. The one thing that baffles me about Mama Kaz is like the image, like everything that they do in the face makeup and whatever else it is, it's drag queen makeup. Like to me, Mama Kaz looks like a drag queen, not a woman. Like I would, I would think they were just dressing up to go and stand on the local gay bar on the door. 
like the makeup everything and like it's just it's not natural woman sort of thing it's like proper drag queen oh you're boring and you're getting people to report oh, oh, mr blobby yeah and mama cows claps back at cla and let me tell you something guys there's nothing wrong with my bigger girls i love every single one of you but if you're gonna come for me expect for me to come fucking back because i've done been fucking nice but what i'm gonna say is pot kettle fucking black do not throw stones in glass houses how the fuck can you sit there and say to me that i'm overweight that i need to lose weight and i look like mr blobby but what you're failing to realise is that Chelsea the Art on a regular basis self professes that she's overweight and she needs to lose weight and she's put weight on. So she says it about herself. It's not like she acts like she's not a big girl herself, you know what I mean? So like you're coming back at Chelsea with your washed comeback when Chelsea openly stands there and says that she's put weight on and, you know, she's fat, this, that and the other. So it's not throwing stones in glass houses when she's just being honest. You are overloaded. You sit there shoveling it down. You've been making fucking meals for free and you're shoveling it down, right? You might as well go get a fucking garden shovel. You can't even fucking... Does he think his clapbacks are, like, funny or something? Because it's just washed as fuck. Breathe. You've got COPD, babe. Yeah, you can't even fucking breathe. You're there screaming nostrils and roots. You just about can even let them wear slip from your mouth. You can't breathe. Go check your health, darling. Go check your lungs, babe. Because I might be overweight, yeah? I might have a little double chin that you will like to point out and you like to put on FOP. Mama Kaz is fat. Mama Kaz is this. So fucking what? At least I can breathe, bitch. Someone's affected. At least I can breathe. At least I can fucking breathe, okay? And I ain't walking to my fucking kitchen. Fucking needing a ventilator. How dare you? Do you know what I mean? You've they say the truth hurts, don't they? You've got this thing about calling people fat. And I just saw Gracie join my room. Hello, Gracie. You know, you've done that with her. You talk about Miss Red, about she's overweight. Is this your... Why are you trying to bring Gracie in on it? Because Gracie actually likes CLA, even through all the arguments they've had. Gracie's got a snake called Roots. Like, she actually likes Chelsea and, like, they, like, don't have an issue is this you um projecting is it you projecting because that's what i'm seeing here about calling me fat but you are so why are you acting so offended like you even know you are so you have even admitted you've got the double chins this that and the other so what 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 where's the offense about calling me fat you're a multi-millionaire darling you're saying you're a hairdresser and you're walking around with three different color fucking roots but she's not a multi-millionaire and we know she's not this, that and the other like we know. Chelsea says that she's bloody a mechanic and she's a, 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 a solar panelist and she's fitted floors for years and, you know, oh, I've been a painter. and We know Chelsea likes to exaggerate the truth and it's like watching a telly program where, you know, there's that character who, they, oh, if you've been, if you've got a headache, they've got a brain tumor. If you've been to Tenerife, they've been to Eleven Arif. That's just who Chelsea is. Like, she's been a chef, she's been a brain surgeon, like, you know, she can diagnose illnesses herself, like, she's just, we know who Chelsea is, and the fact that you sit there and are so affected over it, choo-choo, bang, 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 thank you so much, Tegan, it's hilarious. Roots, yeah, nostrils, look around with three different fucking colours. But Mama Kaz has forever done Chelsea's expressions, oh, and all this type of stuff that Chelsea does, so... You know, you didn't have a problem with Chelsea when she was um, doing her faces and you were impersonating her because you don't have an identity of your own. You don't even know who you are. It's in your heads. Because if you knew who you were, you'd be transitioning by now. It's the facts of the matter. So you literally are lost. And yet you, know, you hate everyone else so much because you're so lost in life. Let's not go there, please. Please, best believe, you talk shit on everyone. Today, I'm having my time with you. Today, I'm having my time. If you want to do a Mama Kaz and see like... He's just jealous of everything to do with everybody else, whether it be money, views, you know. He talks about My Lady Garden in a disgusting way, but, like, you haven't even got one, so you're just hating because you haven't got one, and you'll never have one. Hello, Nick, my love. So what I've done, Nick, is Josh has wrote everyone's names down. He's going to send you the picture of it now. If you could input it, I know you won't mind. And I hope you enjoyed your meal. And I hope you get your 
Um, what does Miss Red call it? Pounding tonight as well. Um, so I, Josh has been writing the names down, love, if that's okay, Nick. Oh, yes, love. Pound and that too. Christmas special, let's go fucking bitch. I wrapped up a Christmas pudding, okay? Thank you so much, Nick, my love. And um, if, if any come through now, just throw them on before who's on the list because it's all randomised anyway, isn't it? Thank you, Nick, and welcome back. We've missed you. Thank you so much to Josh as well. Josh has been amazing, hasn't he, everyone? Yeah, we'll Josh has sent you his number, Nick. Again, this is hilarious. Sweetheart. You know, I go on a diet if I was you, sweetheart. You turns into fucking Mrs. Blobby. Mrs. I don't need to say anything about that again. I think that's absolutely hilarious, right? When you ain't no skinny mini darling. You but she knows she's not. So she's just calling you what she sees because, like, Chelsea is her own worst critic when it comes to her weight and, you know, this, that, and the other. So. It just screams jealousy. You're a jealous person, jealous of people's views, jealous of people's gifts. Thank you, Mrs. Vicker. Choo choo! Bang, bang, bang. Have you noticed these people who used to have a platform always live in the past? I used to be on the leaderboard. I've come this number. Yeah, the leaderboard's been over for over a year and a half, nearly two years since dailies became a thing. You know, like, it's like. Time moves quick and they all live in the past. Oh, when I had a big platform or when I used to have this, I used to have that. But you're not relevant anymore and you try to be relevant off the back of other people's stuff that's going on. And uh, you've got nothing to offer of your own and, you know, you're a lost individual. You don't know who you are in life because if you knew who you were, you'd get a gender reassignment that you claim that you are. You know, you're jealous of other people's lady gardens to be talking about it in a disgusting way. Thank you, TTT. And uh, everything else, you just hate women. I think you're a, a, a misogynist and a woman hater. You ain't walking out. But you want the privileges of uh, of being recognised as a woman because you could never make it as a man because men would eat you alive because they wouldn't take this shit that you're putting onto a woman. You know what I mean? Chelsea's a natural born woman who's had children and everything else and you are sitting on the internet, you know, 20 years a junior bitching about how much she earns and this is so very sad out that beach like fucking baywatch babe and you're saying that i am mr blobby and that i'm fat and whatever fucking else i think that's absolutely hilarious oh yeah he's jealous so of everyone darling. <laughs> i love you i love you two times darling oh fuck there with all that faith this let me try and explain to you from an actual real trans woman who's had all the surgeries done, who lives as a woman and not as a trans woman. I don't label myself as that. You know, I get accepted in society as a woman. You know, men will do things for me, you know, like and help me in and offer me assistance if should I ever need it in any way out and about. They'll hold the doors open. I'll get called love and, and recognised as, as a woman because I embody everything that is a woman. You know, I'm, I make an effort with the way I look, you know, I always make sure I'm clean, tidy, everything. I can actually leave the house, unlike this one with the biggest cripple and social anxiety ever for a 20 odd year old. And um, what I'm trying to say to you is, is like when I knew I wanted to be a woman was from a child, like I knew when I was in junior school. Uh, I never fancied any girls. I wanted to be them. I wanted long hair, you know, and the most my mum would let me have is a bowlhead, you know, so that was like a compromise because, you know, my mum was quite a bigoted person in that way, you know what I mean? She thought, like, if you... Because it was when all needles were discarded and that, like, and if you, if you played out, you'd get AIDS and all that. My mum was a proper hypochondriac, you know, one of them. So, um... So, like, she and she wasn't, like, into the whole, oh, people being gay or that different and all that. And she was just not, not of that mind sort of thing. So, wasn't allowed to e express any of that, really. But I made comments, like, Mum, if you ever die, will you leave me your makeup bag? And as soon as I got to the age of 18, I had my top surgery done privately. Because these can all get private breast implants if they wanted it, you know. Like, they don't stigmatize against a gender oh no we can't do breasts because you're not recognized by the general dental commission or the, the fucking hierarchy of the the gender society they just do it because you're paying for it so people are allowed to express themselves with the body these days so if they went and got their top surgeries done you know then they'd get the bottom surgery faster because you've already took the big plunge as it is 
So if they really wanted to be women, they would do something about it. You know, they would go on to hormones. Mama Cars and Alphabet are both not on any hormones whatsoever. They want to be recognised as women, but they're not under any clinics. They're not under the doctors. They're not taking tablets, hormone tablets. You know, they're doing nothing at all. So when I call these people here, and that's not me being transphobic, because you can't be transphobic to people who are not transitioning. And coming from someone who really is transgender, who knows how it feels, and you can't escape the way it feels. It's like because you're in the wrong body it's like almost like it's like you you you're repulsed and you just can't like you know what i mean and, you, and like you you just can't and you want it done as soon as possible as fast as you can whether it be half the surgery for now and the rest later anything to feminize yourself and all these do is stick the makeup on contour the lives out of themselves and throw some hair extensions in they're not in the doctor's surgery they're not going through any as any of the transition so how can you be trans if The word trans is to transition if you're not transitioning. And we've watched these people for four or five years now. So we know that they've got no intentions whatsoever. But these people like Alphabet and like Mama Cars and why they hate on women, for instance, so intensely is because they want the privileges of being a woman because women get treated nicely by men, for instance, and they could never make it as men. So it's not that they're trans, it's because they're too frightened to be a man because they know that if they open their mouths to men, like they do to women, these are men dressed up as women, talking to women in dis- dis- disgusting ways, like cussing women, saying this, like that. I've got all the bits, you know what I mean? So I- I'm on the the same level. I haven't got no hormones to do with male because it, it, testosterone is from your testicles, so I don't have any of that because I've got a lady garden. So I don't have any type of like um, manliness in me sort of thing. Uh, but these people, like, uh, not taking hormones, so they've got the full of testosterone. You know, these are men, and just because they're wearing a wig and a bit of makeup, you know, doesn't make them women, in my opinion, if you're going through your surgeries. Like, I'll even credit Miss Faye. Miss Faye has been on hormones for almost a year. She's uh, changed everything, you know. She's going through the whole hog. Like, she goes to appointments, she gets this done, that done. And she's actually really transitioning, you know. So I know I used to have me back and forth with Miss Faye, but I don't have a problem with Miss Faye. We we patched whatever problem up. We, you know what I mean? Like, what you've got to remember is these trans people think they can attack me to climb up the social ladder on TikTok, for instance. So Miss Faye having this argument with me, say, oh, she's sending trolls and stuff. It's because they're feeding off my name without their own platform, but she's grew her own platform, doing her own thing. And, you know, I don't have issues with anybody, but... I'm not being transphobic and none of you are when talking about Mama Cars and uh, Elphaba because they're not transitioning. So basically there's men dressed up as women talking to you, real women, like pieces of shit. Thank you so much, Racing Girl, my darling. Love you lots, babes. Fake that. Okay, fake. This is hilarious. You are the biggest walking hypocrite. Yeah, you begged me when I got my extensions done. Where did I do that? Mama Kaz, I need extensions. You only put extensions in your fucking head. Okay? Yes, mate. I'm so fake. Your lips have migrated to your fucking nostrils. Forget fucking nostrils. Right? See the way he's trying to tear down another woman? Like, if Chelsea wants to have big lips, then that's her personal choice to express her vision of the way she likes to look so you know tearing her down based on her personal choice to get lip fillers and stuff you know it's just crazy when you're wanting to if you are really trans cut your pee pee off you know what i mean so you can't really come for somebody getting some filler that's dissolvable when you're wanting to change your whole entire being you know so it's just crazy you're full of hate venom and you're very spiteful you're not a nice person at all and that's why you don't do well on here because People have evolved and you haven't evolved past, I don't know, your grotty bloody chair or wherever you sat in. Lips have migrated to your fucking nostrils. Your bottom lip stays like this. Yeah. Well, your lips are like sausages, two sausages pressed together. So how are you commenting on anybody's lips? I'll never know. And what's with the brown lip liner? It looks like a literal bum. You know what I mean? Like the, the chocolate starfish. Like you've got chocolate starfish mouth. Two bloody walls, walls bangers, you know, plastered on your face and you were coming for somebody else's lips. It's yeah, st- I don't know who's got, I don't know what person is injecting you. Respectfully, I don't know what person is reje- uh, injecting you about 
about your telling me. But you're wanting to cut your, your, your dingly dangly off, apparently, and, you know, get implants and put fake things onto your body that weren't there to begin with and go to that extreme, but you're bothered about somebody else's lips. It's like giving jealousy of a real woman, you know what I mean? Me, a fake as this. Fake this, fake that. Your lips have my braid into your fucking nose, babe. Do you know how gullible he is as well, everybody? So do you know the way I make tongue-in-cheek jokes and wind people up over the years? Years ago, this is, I made a random comment messing around, winding everyone up, saying that, yeah, I have periods, yeah, I bleed every month, heavy flow, this, that and the other. As a joke, and everybody took it as a joke, but this manhead will go live and go, claiming to be a real woman and having periods and... I said it as a joke, everybody knows it was a joke, of course I don't have periods, like, that's just a literal joke out my mouth, and they hold it to, she said she had periods, and, you know, it's just, this person's just so strange. We're past the point, we're past the point of migration, right? We're past the point of- Your eyebrows are nearly migrating off your skull, what are you talking about migration for? Migration. Witches of Eastwick. Oh your bottom lip, it looks like it's gonna it's fucking explode. Yeah, it's like a fucking, you're like a clown, darling. And you're talking about me. With my 1.5 million, my lips, you all wanna talk about my lips. You know? And you talk about fat. And you talk about fake. You walked around with them dusty extensions in your head, yeah, for how fucking long? How is he sitting there cussing people with hair extensions when he's got hair extensions? Cussing people with lip filler when he's got lip filler himself, you know? It's just crazy how you can be such a hypocrite. Like, Chelsea the Art is telling the truth. You are overloaded. You have piled on the pounds over the years and you're completely out of shape. Like, but Chelsea admits that so is she. So she's not being a glass house stone thrower like you're trying to imply. She's literally telling the truth. You can't say, hello, Miss Faye. You can't look in the mirror and think you're skinny mini, you know what I mean? Like, you, you've got to see it, that it's the truth, and you're literally screaming and shouting about the truth being told. So, what have I got that you never did? Except dignity, darling. Oh, dignity, my foot. You haven't got an ounce of dignity in any of your mantos. Um, Zach reacts to Mama Kaz's freestyle rap. Yo, yo, check it. Mm. Zach the rap, we got one collapse left, not a straw. You can never chat to me with your sippy cup, sipping on that fucking straw. Your body stinks like shit, you call me fat. You need to dug a straight band, what a. Yeah, look at me now, I'm skinny, you're not. So, what are we on about? I done something about it. You didn't. <laughs> Take the filters off, babe. Take the filters off. Listen, everyone has a bit of smoother on, but when you're literally looking like this, then you like everybody puts a little tiny bit of smoother on and that, but not so much that like you 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 literal cartoon character version of yourself, and everyone can see it. It's not like you know filters and smoothers are meant to be subtle, so that you can't see them and they're not flying off your face or anything. It's meant to be a subtle. Just a little small improvement, you know, like maybe make your foundation look a little bit smoother or whatever. But when you've waxed everything up, the co the contour, the chin filter, the the ev the smoother, you, you layers of makeup on your face already. You look ridiculous, and you're coming for people on their image and their their body and things like that. When you're just a, a jealous little boy. What's off, babe? Come on. Hypocrite, you think you are so much shit, you are a narcissistic bully. Yeah. You can never fuck with me. I've fucked with you three times and you fucking give up. Shut up. You make your match. It's funny when they say things like that. You could never fuck with me, but like we literally come for these people time and time and time again. But they like to try and convince themselves. You'll always find people going, I won that argument, didn't I? Didn't I? Oh, yeah, it's sure told them. Like you're convincing yourself because you know it's not true. Because anybody who has natural gloatiness on a situation just starts to look and go, hmm, and carry it, you know what I mean? You don't sit there going, didn't I do well, everyone? Like, oh, I sure told them you could never fuck with me. Well, yes, everybody can fuck with you because everyone's got free will. Let's bring a friend in. Let's bring the friend in. Let's bring the 
I've been friends with him. Let's get to EQ. Let's go. Oh, this is my slip over. Light this up. <laughs> DJ DeVito on the decks. The thing is, like, I'm not offended. Thank you so much, Josh. Choo -choo. Bang, bang, bang. Thank you so much, Josh. You're in the waffle. And make sure to everyone follow Josh and say thank you for taking the names tonight. Um, You'd love to be me, though. Like, you haven't got a JJ. You know, you don't have uh, anything that I've got in life. So, it's just it's just jealousy. You're jealous of me. Come on, p -p 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 pull up, penguin! Wah, 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 wah. Yeah. And anyone who imitates my voice, uh, imitation is the biggest form of flattery, you know what I mean? If you're having to imitate me, it means I'm a special person in the first place because I'm unique. So yeah, thank you very much. We love all the impressions. Yeah. My voice sounds like a scratching rat. Ah. Isn't it? Oh. No catch off, Russell America. And there's the comment about me for JJ, Russell Bigger. Get yourself on Twitter, everybody. You can see it in all its glory. This one's jealous that they'll never have one because they're not a real trans person. Yeah, I mean, you're crippled with anxiety. You never leave the house. You know, you're an absolute nobody. So, yeah, you're the one who's affected having to sing and make songs up and scream and shout. And, yeah, it's very easy to slap you down without even breaking into a sweat or, or, or a, um, a higher pitched tone in any way. You can never It's just so boring. Better than a chipolata. Miss Faye. Choo choo. Bang, bang, bang. Miss Faye, I've got a massive waffle on that you could actually win. And make sure to get yourself pinned. Thank you so much, Miss Faye. To me when you look like older, more Yeah, EQ with a Rasta Burger. MK with a chipolata. Ha 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 ha. You and Silly should be sisters because you've got one bigger top lip than your bottom one. Oh, 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 she really oh, tried to do that. We look like Skeletor. <laughs> okay. I mean, this is how much she actually knows, you know, like, um, I am actually a size 12 in clothes and I have put um, around three stone on, so yeah, so. There isn't no one looking like Skeletor, but I'm also not overloaded, you know what I mean? I know where the limit is, and, you know, you clearly don't. So, look at the size of those shovel hands. Look at the size of them. Bloody, yeah, uh, like spades. I love musical contests. This is like a rap battle. Yeah, I evolve and, and get better. Some people just, like, can't evolve and and make anything off themselves, you know, so they have to come for successful people, you know. Um, I'd like to know where I should be affected, though, because it's 1 hour 44 into my show. I'm on 100,000 diamonds. I've got 2,500 people who watch me daily. This is boring. Like, you're a boring person at this stage. And you need to get a life. Get a dishwasher. Um, CLA complains about her drink and leave. All over TikTok, I'm live. I've got like 5,000 people. Do you search up the original classic apple? Of course, if you don't know. Darling, I've been here the first time. It was 10 out of 10. My apple spritz was amazing. I specifically said when I ordered, and the guy said to me, we only make apple spritz with champagne. I'm bipolar. I can't drink certain cheap chemicals and stuff. And I've never had an apple spritz with an olive in. So whatever you say in, it's non-existent. It's an Italian drink, and they would never put an olive in it. Right, I'm going. Thank you. I've never seen an olive in a drink of Aperol spritz, and I've been to Italy. Can you believe that? Like, are they insane, sweetheart? An olive in an apple spritz, sweetheart. Okay. The nose rings are awful, but I think she probably knows and is doing it to annoy everyone. Fucking, I'm going, darling. I can't cope. I'm affected. You know the drink? It, like, it's hit my head and I've only had one sip. So I don't know what it was. Never have a uh, olive. No, so long. All over TikTok, I'm live. Um, Chelsea, that bug. She's like... Oh, shut up. Chelsea, like... Oh, 
Shut up. Ah, I can't stand people who throw this. As you know those people who set the traffic lights and they'll throw whatever they're eating out of the car. It really bugs me. You know, why do you think we get the sweepers, darling? Yeah, I threw it on the ground because the bin men get paid. Thank you, Ms. Anxiety Warrior. Choo choo, bang, bang, bang. There is just over 10 minutes to enter tonight's waffle. It will be announced the winner by 5 past 10. And then it'll be sent out to you. You'll get a message from Nick for the details. And then it's sent out to sign for recorded. So I'll be able to give you a tracking number Monday, loves, because it's Sunday tomorrow. So the post will have to go out Monday for Tuesday. But we'll have another waffle tomorrow with different stuff every day, love, because I've got everything's in here now so i've been doing really well everyone i am um, the adhd medication is settled now you know like i still need a stronger because i do get like a crash and you know i can still have the same symptoms but it has helped me because like i've been doing the rooms and everything like i've uh, i've got rid of the stuff that doesn't need to be here and all that my mates been and took things to tip and i've been putting everything where it should be so all my tiktok shop stuff i just put in here now because this is like my office sort of things so we can stay in here without being a mess you know what i mean so um all i need to do the living room is completely done all we need to do is move the treadmill out into the spare room but i've got to sort the spare room first and doing that bit by bit every night um, so I'm nearly on top of everything and then all we need to do then is buy a bed for the spare room and another like wardrobe with drawers um, for storage for clothes because we've got too many clothes. And then and then everywhere's done. Thank you so much, Lizzie, my love. Choo choo, bang, 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 you are in the waffle. And then what I'm thinking is in January, um, so obviously we're going to still have costs up until New Year. I'm hoping, well, me and Jack are hoping to have plans with Gracie and Terry for New Year, but um, she's got to ask her mum about obviously having Gracie's little boy. But she's not been well the mother the past few days, so she, she Gracie hasn't wanted to bother her with it. But that could be a possibility. So I was thinking we're going to have outgoings up until, let's say, New Year. So from the 1st of January all through January, if I keep every penny of like me gifts and everything like that, um, then go on holiday in February, like a, a nice holiday somewhere, you know what I mean? Thank you, Laura. And live stream, obviously. Um, but yeah, so I think work the whole of January, make as much money as possible, and then uh, have a nice holiday in February. That sounds good, doesn't it? So, yeah, we need to have all the gifts in January then for our holiday. <laughs> yeah, don't be a little bug, Chelsea. Latest with Gossip Girl telling us that she's finished with Alphabet, but how long will it last? Latest with Gossip Girl free telling us that she's London. finished That's with Alphabet, but how and long will it last this to time? Work for 70 quid, I don't know what then is. Where do you want to go? Somewhere exotic like, um, you know, um, Japan or bloody somewhere like that, you know what I mean? That type of holiday, like a far, a far away holiday. Not like just to Spain or that type of stuff, like somewhere like, you know, international. Uh, we were thinking Japan because they've got all the latest stuff there, haven't they? And all these fancy machinery and this, that and the other. Is it, is it Japan or is it Tokyo? Am I thinking of the wrong place? I want to go to the place where, like, they've got all the latest technology and everything like that. So that's where I, that's, that's where I want to go. She's got... It's non-existent. Because we... Thank you, Tammy, my love. Choo-choo! <laughs> bang, bang, bang. You're in the waffle and make sure to comment so we can pin you. Um, because we were meant to go on holiday before Christmas, like after Jack's birthday, but then we moved, but like we bought new everything. Obviously, I've still got the same PC because it's just like thousands of pounds worth of equipment. And but we had to buy um, new um, chests of drawers, a brand new bed, um, a brand new telly, a brand new sofa, a brand new Christmas tree. So everything's been brand new, you know, like everything, like um, brand new quilts and this, that and the other. So everything's been like a cost. So it didn't make sense, you know what I mean? But like once the house is done, then the house is done then. And like um, I said to Jack, I said, we won't have to buy anything again now for the house. And because like um, when, um, like, God forbid, when Coco passes away, she's only nine at the moment. So there's like another five years of that. I'm hoping to just like use everything for five years and then anything worth value. Thank you, JP. Choo -choo. Bang, bang, bang. Anything worth value. You're in the waffle and make sure to get pinned. 
Um, and then um, once once Coco passed away, obviously the responsibility of being tied to the one place comes to an end. So I want to test out living in another country for like a year, you know what I mean? So like we've only got the initial cost of everything now and we're just going to use it and not get anything new type of thing for like the five years or uh, whatever. And then like live in a different country for like a year, you know what I mean? Still do obviously all my live streaming and everything. Nothing will change there. I'll always be on social media. But, um, yeah, because obviously it's, life's too short to be restricted in the one place, like, when you could be travelling the world, you know what I mean? And obviously, like, with, with the whole social media platform, it gives the means to do it and that, so... Um so, yeah, so then sell every, anything worth value, and then, um, yeah, go and, like, um, travel, no? Uh, yes, love. Stay another day. Terrible song. This is a long time away. This is like five or six years away, so we don't want to go into too much about it now, but it's just an idea, you know what I mean? Should have sang Frosty the Snowman. Four weeks. Well, there you go. I don't know what's going on, darling. The room's terrible, like, it's just disgusting. I'm done with her anyway, I can't help her no more. Yeah, Elva was like, for Chelsea, is no good. Chelsea's got a business starting properly, you know, was finally releasing something to the general public and all that. Like, she's flying, she's achieving, you know, she's the talk of everyone still. Chelsea doesn't need Elva for anything. Elva would bring nothing to Chelsea's life other than drama that Chelsea doesn't need right now, you know what I mean? I've got my own sons to think about them. And it's lovely. Do you know what? I just got normal shorts because, um, like, my nails were, like, dead long naturally. So I was um, getting, like, the overlay. But then when we moved house with all, like, the moving and the cleaning and the moving things, I broke every single nail. Thank you, Emma, my love. Choo-choo. Bang, bang, bang. Five minutes to send a train to be in the waffle. And then it's announced at 10. Be in it to win it and all that. Yeah, so it, when they broke, because my own nails were so long, like, they snapped below the nail line and everything, so I had to leave them, like, two weeks to, like, grow out. And then, I, like, if I get long ones, they're just going to break because there's no support behind them. So I just get this length, and then I get an infill, and then, like, they'll go longer naturally, you know what I mean? But at the moment, I'm having them short because... Um, if the two, if the long with no support behind them, they'll just break the slightest tap or the bat bang, and they, they'll snap in half. Because if they've got your own nail behind, they like the stronger. You know what I mean? <clears throat> the reds is cute for Chris. If yeah, well, I, I've got I've got to get my roots done one more time before Christmas, and I mean, and I'll an infill probably. That's what I'll need if I can stretch it out. And um, I, do you know what the good thing is about this TikTok shop and all the samples and stuff I get? Like, I don't have to buy any of my family. Obviously, I normally give my dad some money so he can have a bet or that in New Year or whenever. But other than that, I've got all TikTok shop stuff. Like, I'm, I'm going to give Beryl one of the heated scarves. I got her a cream one. Um, one of the nail sets, a wax pot, you know what I mean? Like, and like all bits and bobs. So, like, everyone's going to get decent stuff, but I haven't had to spend out, which is great, you know what I mean? So I don't have to uh, spend out on anybody apart from Jack, that's it. And Jack likes trainers, so he, he's on this website where, like, he sees all the releases and all that before they come out. So I just said, look for, like, a pair of trainers you want for, like, um, and I'll and then I'll just get other stuff, obviously, like, aftershaves and, you know, bits and bobs. Thank you, Mary, for subscribing. Right, you've got a couple, three minutes left to enter the waffle today. As you see in the cleans trainers, he likes jo uh, uh, what are they called? Jordans, whatever they're called, and the uh, ones like that. Like he'll spend like a thousand pounds, and some of these trainers like two thousand pounds and all that. Oh, 
oh my god i've got such a busy day on monday you know i don't know how i'm gonna cope because i've got the dogs in the vets to get her boosters and to get her nails cut and she needs her nails doing because we, we've moved and had to move the vets and everything same branch company but like different store so she's getting her nails done and then i've got the dentist for me clean you know me hygiene and then i've got a call uh, meant to be a video call with um, the adhd clinic to, to talk about me like obviously how i'm feeling off the medication then get the review so i've got a medication review so and then i've got to work as well all on monday so monday's going to be such a busy day but the good thing is i didn't go anywhere yesterday uh, my friend danny come today and i went to next uh, tk max and super drugs so we do a little shop and we're not going we're not going to the gym this weekend um so i don't need to go anywhere tomorrow which is good but then monday's going to be such a busy day you know it's just going to be horrible for me so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to ring the clinic up and say to them I am um, I've got a busy day Monday can I do it over a telephone call instead of a video call? Have you seen the difference on the meds yet? So the first the first few days I had it I was I, I, the the medication made me feel like up here and then because it's slow release it, it's I was having a crash so around two three o'clock in the afternoon I was getting into bed and feeling down and you know anxious and stuff and but that passed because people said just keep taking it it'll pass it's a stimulant and it's still got to enter your body even though it's instant release so now I'm noticing I'm getting longer out the medication like and I'm get I'm more productive and stuff you know and that so it is helping me more but I do want it to be upped because I get that crash you know what I mean like sometimes in the afternoon and that you don't speak as fast, I think. Oh, yes. What medication? It's ADHD medication called Elvance. But it's only 30 milligram at the moment, so obviously I want to go up to a higher dose. Because I get the initial effect and then it wears off too quick. Because my brain is that powerful, you know, like it overtakes the medication at times. One minute to send another train and then that's the end of the waffles. If Canadian Angie wins, then she will be deciding a winner on Hair Live. Um, because she has sent me the lion with the Leon, which was 34,000 coins. So she's got loads of entries. Yes, Nick. Nick, we'll keep your eye out for you going live. Thank you so much, Nick. Nick has been out and everything. So thank you to Josh for filling in and doing all the names. He was writing them down manually. Um, I've pressed Eva Queen instead of Nick. Uh, he was writing them down manually and then he sent a photograph to Nick and she's put them in the laptop dead quick. So thank you, Josh. Make sure to everyone follow him and make sure to follow Nick and Canadian Angie. Thank you, Racing Girl, Lulu, Canadian Angie, Miss Cyber, Leah, Lizzie, Claire, JP, Louise, Beverage, Jackie, Stace, Elaine, Gillian, Evil Stace, Satisfying Lips, Lisa, Proud, Scott, Samantha, Shishi, Evil Lisa, Katie, Jem, Mary, everyone who double tapped, everyone who sent a gift if I haven't called you out. Uh, thank you for interacting and always supporting me. And I'll have another waffle tomorrow with um, other things, love, or different items, but always a lot of them because I want to give you something good for your, for your, for your train, do you know what I mean? So let's see who's going to win tonight's Judy! waffle. Hello. Good luck, everybody. Hello, girl. Can you tell EQ I'm live, please, Love you, girl. Ah, oh, love Nick. Thank She's you, great. And thank you, Josh, as well. <laughs> Good luck, everyone. Thanks, Fingers man. crossed. I want you to win it, Angie, in a way, so that you can re-waffle it off. Hello, <laughs> hello, Charles. Right, there is 98. So that'll be a twist, won't it? Re-waffle off. Angie is 65% of them. <laughs> I'm going to shuffle. 98 entries. The, um, shuffle the names. Once. Twice. Thrice. Good luck, everyone. So, here we go. Are we ready? Steady. Good luck, everyone. Oh, is it going to be? Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Tammy. It's Tammy Ka Kelly Hart. Tammy. Well Killer. done, Tammy. Tammy. Well done. Congratulations on well surprised. Well done. I'm surprised Canadian Angie didn't win as well. Well done. See, it just goes to show everybody, you know, you've got to be in it to win it. 
Congratulations. Thank you so much. And thank you so much, Canadian Angie, for the amazing gift that you sent me. I really appreciate you and I never take you for granted. I'm so grateful. And thank you to every single one of you who sent me a gift and supported me and joined in the waffle love. So, Tammy, if you add the EQ Minx, thank you, Nick. And thank you for doing it, even though you've been out on that. I really appreciate it. And you can be verification from other people who've won waffles. You get um, the receipts, which shows the tracking number and uh, everything's above board. So this will be sent out Monday and you'll get it Tuesday, Tammy. Well done, everyone. And, and don't don't be worrying if you haven't won today. You've got to be in it to win it. Even if you've only got one train, you know, you could be the one to win it because of how it's done. So, yes, get yourself some Christmas gifts or, you know, to re-gift or whatever. Tracking number's been sent to everybody. And every and, um, Keely got his already. She got his today. Manic Menopause will get his tomorrow, maybe. Or maybe Monday, I don't know, with Ireland, but maybe it'll be tomorrow. And uh, Gab's had his sent out as well. Thank you, everybody, again. I love you so much. And I will see you all tomorrow at 8 o'clock, my loves. Message EQ Minx, Tammy. EQ Minx. She'll message you, my moderator. Thank you, Sarah. Choo-choo. Bang, bang, bang. Thank you again. Thank you so much, Sarah. Good night. God bless my lovers. And I shall see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>